Welcome back to Health Awareness, your go to channel for the latest updates in medical research and health innovations. Today, we're diving into an exciting development in the quest to cure HIV. According to CEO Jeff Galvin, the cell and gene therapy developer hopes its Adimmune spinout will pick up where American Gene Technologies, AGT, leaves off in developing a one-time treatment for HIV in light of positive early data. A leading developer of gene and cell therapies is spinning out a new company focused on bringing to market curative gene and cell treatments for HIV, starting with its phase IV, starting with its phase I completed one, and done autologous IT cell therapy for the AIDS virus. Adimmune will continue more than a decade's worth of R&D by AGT focused on developing gene and cell therapy technologies aimed at curing HIV. The new spin-out company will continue the development of a GT103T103T, which successfully completed the Phase I repair trial, restore potent antiviral immune responses, NCT 4,561,258 by showing positive safety results in seven patients, the Phase I trial, along with another sponsor, initiated follow on study named Durable Antiretroviral Withdrawal Initiative, Darwin, NACT 5,529,342, showed active immune responses to HIV up to six months after dosing. AGT 103, T is a single-dose lentiviral-based autologous cell therapy delivering gene Therapy modified HIV specific CD4 T cells to people with HIV. Adamine reasons that while HIV depletes the HIV specific CD4 T cell responsible for a potent immune response, forcing patients onto lifelong antiretroviral therapy, natural immune control of HIV could be restored if the depleted cells are replaced by durable T cells are replaced by durable T cells. AGT-103, TE, is designed to induce the exceptional control of viral replication and intact immune responses without antiretroviral drugs shown by two categories of people living with HIV, ID controllers, who can maintain undetectable viral loads for at least 12 months despite not having started. Antiretroviral therapy and long-term non-progressor individuals who are HIV positive yet remain healthy for long periods of time without medications. The potential of a GT 103 T in future plans. By year's end, Adimmune researchers plan to publish additional data from a subsequent analytic treatment interruption (ATI) study. NCT 5,540,940,964, designed to assess the efficacy of a GT 103 in patients after they stopped taking antiretroviral therapy. The ATI study was designed to generate immunologic and virologic data in patients who are not currently taking typically prescribed antiretroviral medications for HIV. AGT said in June that this dataset showed impressive viral suppression with all participants showing active immune responses to HIV. The data showed that more than half of the participants achieved significant viral suppression. Following finalization of the study and peer review, the company said it intends to have the study results published in a scientific journal. Beyond current treatments, Adimmune reasons that a GT103T could help position as a functional cure for HIV, an option that is currently unavailable among the 32 antiretroviral drugs, one pharmacokinetic enhancer, and 21 fixed, dose combinations all approved by the FDA to treat HIV AIDS in the four decades since HIV was discovered. If Adimmune succeeds, it could disrupt a market for HIV treatments valued between $22, 5 cents billion and 30, $1 billion last year, but with only low single digit growth projected through 2030. As Jeff Galvin, CEO of Adimmune, stated, The field is crowded with treatments, but it's not crowded with cures. We're the only cure attempt out there that has our level of data. Safety and efficacy. Alrighty, now we don't have full efficacy. I don't want to overplay this, but the data is really exciting to people in the know, in virology and immunology, within the HIV industry, and we've attracted a who's who to this project. And what they're telling me is, this looks like it can work. The future of Adimmune and Agtone 103. Adimmune is swinging for the fences, aiming to go beyond what existing treatments from companies like Gilead and Vive offer. Galvin emphasized that the goal is to develop a one-and-done cell therapy, allowing people on lifelong treatment drugs 
to potentially stop taking them and forget about HIV entirely, as their immune system naturally controls the virus. Adimmune is committed to developing a GT-103T through the regulatory phase. The spin-out company believes that the data justifies full focus and full funding to maximize the chances of achieving a one-time treatment. The name Adimmune combines two key concepts, adding new capacity to the human T-cell through gene and cell therapy and creating an improved immune system to fight HIV. The recent Phase I trial data showed that a GT-103 T-generated immune responses in all seven patients dosed with the therapy. The persistence of a GT-103 modified T-cells and significant increases in GAG, specific CD4 and CD8 T-cells were observed, indicating a promising direction for further development. Adimmune is now developing the protocol for a planned phase IA trial of a GT-103 T, aiming to establish efficacy levels that could justify a pivotal study and potential commercialization. The long-term vision includes the possibility of an HIV vaccine leveraging gene therapy technology to induce functional cure status in people living with HIV. And that's it for today's video. Thank you for joining us on this informative journey. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more updates on health awareness. Congratulations if you're already subscribed. You're among the 1.5 who take their health seriously. If not, hit that subscribe button now so you won't miss our next video. Thank you for watching. Remember, staying informed is a crucial step in staying healthy. Until we meet again, stay healthy.